Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I am releasing my Autocrafter add on. So I know a few people have been asking for it, and people have been commenting asking where it was uh, on the demo video and stuff. So I've decided I might as well just release it because I'm pretty sure it's mostly bug free. I like from what I've tested, it seems pretty bug free. So I think it is ready for release. Uh, here's a little demo thing I made. It's pretty pathetic, but it's like a cobblestone farm. Obviously there are no TNT jupers in bedrock edition, so we'll just have to use that. But basically, cobblestone gets crafted into furnaces. Because I just wanted to test the auto crafters for a while, so I left this running for a bit. But eventually more cobblestone will drop in. And then it will craft a furnace, and the furnace goes into the chest. So I turn that off. There we are. So you get that idea. Um, there's this thing. This is pretty useless. Uh, there's also this iron farm. So obviously, this is just a little demo thing of how you'd use it. You'd have a big iron farm up here, and all the iron golems fall into here. And they die, items get washed into here, and then around this stream. And if I just grab a bunch of iron ingots, and then also some poppies, because iron golems are poppies too. So if I chuck the iron ingots here and poppies in there, you can see the ingots travel around. And most of the poppies end up in this hopper, so they get picked up. So they're almost done. There are quite a few in here. The iron ingots are gone, and now the poppies are gone, and they will get sorted out into this chest and this chest. And the uh, iron ingots get converted into blocks by these auto crafters. You don't need as many. It was just because I was doing lots of tests. Alright, so basically, I'll show you how to craft these. Again, even though I did in the last video. I'll, I might as well go through it since this is the release video. So you need logs, redstone, iron, cobblestone, gold, Emerald, Diamond, and Obsidian. And also a Hopper. Um, so, first tier is the wooden tier. And it is made like this. Get a wooden auto crafter. Uh, second tier is stone tier, made like that. Third tier is iron tier. And then you go to gold tier. Then emerald, diamond, and obsidian, and they're all crafted the same way. So it'd be like this: emerald, and then diamond. Just a quick note: people wanted me to replace the redstone in the crafting recipes with some kind of upgrade module, um, just to make it different. Because having redstone in a recipe is kind of weird, and I will do that. But I'm not really sure what the texture should look like or really what how it should be crafted or anything because I don't want to make it too hard to craft since the wooden auto crafter is meant to be a pretty early game thing. Um, but yeah, so if you want you can join my Discord server and suggest how it should be made and what it should look like. Back to the video. And then obsidian. So that's how you make each tier of these. So they each require the previous one, so it's pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's probably worth it in survival if you're making a big factory to have an obsidian auto crafter. Because it's obviously quite fast. Okay, so these are the auto crafters times. So this number here is the amount of seconds it takes to craft one recipe. So if you want, you can just pause it whenever you feel like to read the signs. Um, but yeah, that's the speeds of the auto crafters. Uh, they can craft almost every vanilla recipe. Um, some things like pickaxes made out of cobblestone and sticks. Obviously you can craft, you can normally craft pickaxes with blackstone. Um, over here somewhere, wherever blackstone is. I don't really know, somewhere here. Um, but you can normally craft pickaxes out of blackstone and sticks as well, but with the auto crafters you can't. Just because then there'd be two overlapping recipes, so the recipe selection system wouldn't work. 
Um, so yeah, only cool them that. Uh, there are other things like you can't craft bamboo into sticks. You can only craft planks into sticks, and only oak planks can be used in all the recipes. So only items with zero data values. So like oak planks has a data value of zero, so that can be used in a recipe. Since there's no way to test for data values with entities and animation controllers, so I have to have a limitation. I don't really do anything about it though. But anyway, that's basically the whole thing. So those are the recipes, how you set it up, um, what recipes they can craft. I'll just show you again how to set a recipe. So if I want that to craft that, and let's make another one which crafts pistons. So this one's going to craft emerald blocks. Uh, by the way, I just skipped over that. Yep. You click in this top part of the crafting table, and if you're on mobile, you'll tap and hold in this top part to interact with it. So it's just tap hold, it's like a lock tap. I think you normally do. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it drops out one block. And then it will drop it out the bottom if there's no block there. If that block's covered out, it drops it out on one of the sides. Or it drops it out in the front. Once covered, it drops it out that side. And then if that side's covered, obviously it drops it out this side. And I think. No, I can't pick that up. Yeah, there's obviously no way it can pick anything up from there. But basically, that's how you set a recipe. So you click, and then it works by itself. Should just keep running. Okay, I'll just show you an example with like a multi item recipe. So a piston right there to set the recipe, and then it's three planks, five cobblestone, wait, four cobblestone, sorry, uh, one of those, and an iron ingot, and then you get a piston. So it's this amount of items. So if I just chuck them over here, it should start picking them up and then crafting pistons. So that's how you set up basic watercrafter stuff. Um, so it will do well with multi item things. And then I can also craft them into sticky pistons after that just by doing this. And you can see it starts outputting that. So that's great. So that's basically how you set it all up. And that should be it. So download will be in the description. Um, on mcpdl and also probably mcbedrock.dev if that's a thing mcbedrock yeah maybe they changed their name i think it's mcp.dev now uh, but there'll be two links in the description to both pages where i'll be uploading this add-on for you all to download um so i hope you enjoy it um yeah <coughs> you to download and by the way, it does require mob griefing enabled, since technically a mob picking up item is considered griefing. So things like village picking up food is griefing, and auto crafters picking up ingredients is technically griefing as well. So mob griefing is must be enabled. Um, mob loot must be enabled. I'm pretty sure. And such an experimental gameplay, the holiday creators toggle thing. Uh, it should work in stable. I'm currently in beta 1.16.200.56, but as far as I know, everything I've made is compatible with stable release. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and also share the video. But also subscribing is free, so you should definitely subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And yeah, share it with your friends because then more people know about it and it's better because everyone enjoy it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.